Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on a funeral elegy and we are getting sort of towards the end of the poem. Today we're going to take a look at lines 479 to 498. And in yesterday's lines, the author was talking about sort of the, the reward principle, that there has to be some reward for after death to encourage people to lead a good life because otherwise sort of what's the point of being good if good people and bad people are going to be treated the same or if there is no reward for being good and it was um yesterday's lines sort of end with a this is going to go on until someone's end or through someone's end and line 479 says until which end there is none rightly can be termed happy since the happiness depends upon the goodness of the man which afterwards his praises will express look hither then that you enjoy the youth of your best days and see how unexpected death can betray your jollity to ruth when death you think is least to be respected the person of this model here set out had all that youth and happy days could give him, yet could not all encompass him about against the assault of death, who to relieve him struck home but to the frail and mortal parts of his humanity, but could not touch his flourishing and fair, long-lived deserts above fate's reach his singleness was such so that he dies but once but doubly lives once in his proper self then in his name predestinated time who all deprives could never yet deprive him of the same so there's a couple a couple little thoughts here and the the first little tidbit is saying that a person can't be truly happy while they're alive because the only their happiness in the afterlife is going to depend on their goodness in the waking life but they're not going to know if they made it there until they make it there or not so there there isn't really a way to truly be happy because you don't know what's going to happen to you after you die so he then takes a, a little pivot to say what this means is enjoy the time that you have and be the best person that you can possibly be because death could be coming for you at any second and then he turns the focus back to sir william peter saying this man here had everything and he was great and should have been happy but the one thing that he couldn't do was protect himself from death because death comes for everybody but he was such a good person that he he's gonna die once or he did die once but he will only die the one time but he gets to have two full lives he gets to have the waking life that he actually lived but then his name will live on forever and nothing can ever take away his name or the goodness that will be associated with his name so we're back around to what a wonderful person sir william peter was which kind of makes sense i mean if you're gonna do an elegy you start with how great he is and then you gotta kind of bookend it with how great he is so we'll see we'll see we've got a couple more days of this so come on back and see how it wraps up i'll see you tomorrow for more Mwah.